Hi! For this video, I will try building some bridges in Polybridge 2. So as you may know, Polybridge is a fun game that allows players to design a bridge so cars can use it to cross over a river. I'm not a bridge designer and have mostly worked on buildings, but quite often I have worked on trusses as well, so I thought it would be interesting to see how I would score in this game. So without further ado, let's get started. I have opened the game from my Steam account and just selected the first level. It seems like there's a run button, I will press it before doing anything to see what it does. So it basically load tests the bridge. We actually have a similar concept in the finite element analysis software where we can run the analysis to see what the results are. There are a few materials here that we can use for our truss. I guess the road is used as the deck of the bridge. I will add the road quickly. Before adding the wood elements, let's run this to see if it works without the truss. Oh no, it failed. Obviously we need to add some other elements of the truss as well. I'll add some elements above the deck. The member is a bit short. Um, I think I'll want to add the elements below the deck instead. This looks better. I'll add the diagonal members now. Okay, I guess this should work. So I guess the road element in this game is a structural member with capacity and not just some secondary framing. Okay, so out of a $10,000 budget, we used 6,000 and the maximum stress is 66%. So there is room for optimization. $10,000 is just too low for a bridge construction project and it costs tens of millions of dollars probably. I just wanna go back quickly and test something. I want to see what happens if I leave one of the panels with a non-triangular form. Okay, this fails. At this level, we have different elevations, so I guess I'm going to draw the road sloped and then I will add the truss. Oh no. I think the first element was overstressed. I think I will uh, redo this quickly with an increased depth so we get more capacity here. We are now at 91% maximum stress and we are under budget so I think this is quite acceptable. We have a heavy machinery so I'll use the reinforced road instead and it seems that we have a new material here. This is a steel and it is more expensive but I assume it has more capacity. Let's see how this performs. Nice. 
I noticed something here. As you can see, the top cord is not braced in one direction and it is in compression. And compression members can have a buckling failure. So it is important to um, brace them to reduce their unbraced length. Otherwise, you will end up with a very large uh, section here. here. Okay, we are under budget and at 60% the stress level, so I guess there is room for optimization. Anyway, let's go to the next level. This looks like a two-span bridge since we have a pier in the middle. It seems like we have a yacht that passes through, so I just go over that and then I'll connect it to the middle pier. So we end up with two trusses, one on each side of the pier. The one on the left side has a smaller span, so I'll just do it with wood and I use a steel for the other one on the right. Okay, let's run this. Good job team. I think it is time to ask for a raise. We are at 72% stress level and we are under budget so yeah, not too bad. We need a double deck bridge here and I guess they have to go through that star in the middle so we have to have a kinked layout. We are over budget but I think we may not need these two steel members so let's remove it and try. Nice, it worked. We have got a 79% stress level but it's slightly over budget. It is kind of common for construction projects to go over budget. Now we have a 3 span bridge, I'll draw a sloped road. We have a new hydraulic element there but I'll try to do this with a conventional design. Just added this one for good measure. Success. So we are at 70% stress level. We have a taxi that has to cross the river and I guess it has to come back as well. Nothing different from the other bridges we have built so far. Our maximum stress was 97% and we are under budget, so this was a good design. If you want to know more about the trusses, you can check out my other video that is about the basics of truss structures. I'll put a link to that video in the description. 
So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Until the next video, goodbye.